Welcome viewers, Glorin here, bringing you an episode of Master of Orion 1. So I kind of did these out of order, but whatever. And this is basically going to be just about a blind playthrough. I played about half an hour, maybe a little more of it, so I know the extreme basics. I've never, I've never engaged in any diplomacy, I've never seen anybody else play it. Um, so... I'm going to go on galaxy size medium and have four opponents. Difficulty average, hopefully that's not hopefully it's not like faster than light average, which is like really really hard. And I'm going to go with the Cylons. Uh green cuz that's my favorite color. And this I'm going with the Cylons because I generally whoops. I generally like um research high research races. Hey, who turned out the lights? Ah. So, as far as I can tell, um, basically you have this production, and you can increase your production by building more factories. Each pop unit of population can work two factories. And then once, um, and then you can use that production, well, first, you have to keep your ecology clean or else waste builds up waste kills off your population and then other aside from increasing your production you can use that production to um, tech up build planetary defenses these bases or build ships which you can build various ships um, I start out with two scouts and a colony ship uh, let's see what are these Blue stars are relatively, relatively young stars with mineral-rich, lifeless planets. Sounds fine. And I want to colonize it as fast as possible. I like to get my industry up to the maximum. Basically just um, ASAP. Always. And, yep. It what. When the ecology says clean, that means no waste is building up. You can increase this, and then, uh, yeah, you can act. If you increase it enough, you can actually get extra population growth, which right now the population growth is, I think, two. Yeah, plus two, so you can get extra population growth. But I'm not going to do that because I'd rather get more industry, build more factories. And one turn. Okay. One twan. <laughs> and minimal. It's. Wait, Antare? Antares? <laughs> That's interesting. Maybe this is pre Orion's. Um. Hmm. So then. Population 45 isn't very high. And. It's, and it doesn't have any special bonuses. In this game, instead of having, like, just always you have a mineral classification, like abundant, rich, poor, ultra poor, most planets are just, um, don't have any modifiers, but then some of them, like ultra poor, I think gives you minus 50% production. Ultra rich probably gives you, like, I don't know, plus 100% production or something. I've only ever seen ultra poor. It's much rarer than in Master of Orion 2, I think. Especially since there are fewer uh, colonizable planets, because each star only has one planet. Okay, um, I'm gonna split up my scouts now. So you can go here, and the other scout can go there, I guess. Okay. Actually, colony ship, you can go there, too. I want to see if I can get a rich or higher than 45 population planet. And... I have pretty good p production now. I have 55 factories. I can get a maximum of 200 because the planet size can currently support 100 people. And each population can or 100 million people, 100 population units, and each population unit can 
Okay, so this is hostile, so population growth is halved, so don't want to do that. Yes, each population unit can work two factories. Oh, also ho hostile, and it's still not... Okay, I guess colony ship, you can just go back to here. I don't know whether this is, like, really unlikely, or whether this is just perfectly normal. Because, like I said, I've only played, like, three thirty minutes of it. What I did learn is that factories are good. <laughs> basically. That's basically it. Oh, whoops. Click transports instead of next turn. Ooh! The Mershans all already attack us. Ah, so now I get to see the tactical combat. Never seen this before. Fly up. Oh, they retreat. Okay. And this is a really poor planet. Wonder why the Mershans attacked me. Maybe they don't have a choice. Maybe it's just like you're kind of automatically at war or something in this game. You can't have alliances. Although, I wonder why I can't I met the Mershans, so I don't know why I can't like get an interview with them or something. Okay. The turns do take <laughs> colonize Antares. Yeah, unfortunately the turns do take longer than in Master of Orion 2. And black screen. In the year 2314, the Cylons form a new colony. Colony name, Antares, for some reason, because... You know, I think in the Master of Orion 2, the star date is in, like, the 3000s, and it mentions that the Orions and Antares lived, like, a thousand years ago, so maybe this is before the, in the orion Antaran War. In fact, maybe you'll, like, become the Orions or something like that. <laughs> or the Antarans, in this case. Um, Inferno Host- Wow! There are not many good ship- uh, good planets around. So, I probably can't get there, I'm sure. Yeah. And probably not even here. Well, that- yeah, good. Yellow stars are apparently some of the best. Wait, is this explored? No. Or yes. Um, check out another blue star. Okay, I just want to select the ship, not th not the star. Oh, he's one turn away. Okay. And crypto. Ah, step. That's a decent... It's a decent planet. I'll want to build my next colony there. Whoops! Oops. No. Okay, I can reselect you. I want to send you to the blue star. And then Mentar, my homeworld. How many factories do you have? 138. Life is good. And, wow, Inferno Hostile at a yellow star? I can't tell if this is a really bad and unlucky start, or if this is just, like, perfectly normal. Because it says they offer the best chance of discovering Terran and Subterran planets. So, I don't know why there would be a Hostile Inferno. <laughs> And I'm almost to my maximum number of factories, so I can start building either a colony ship or start researching. I'll have to decide which one to do. Mentor, Mentor has reached its maximum, blah blah blah. So change tech to zero, ships, yeah. Five years, that means five turns. Um, 
Planetology. Right now it takes two... Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, five turns for a colony ship shouldn't be too bad. And then I can start getting to research. Also, in this game it looks like it's really easy to build up a massive fleet because I spent like four turns building a fleet once and then GNN rated me at the highest military um military strength. Wait, I wanna wait for this guy and then I'll and then I'll choose which planet to colonize. So I think I'll do planetology first. Get some faster uh oh terraforming. That's good. Yeah. Ugh, wow, what is it with this thing? I have horrible luck, I think. Well, a step planet isn't what? Wait, how did my scouts get there if you can't get there? Huh. Oh. I think I need to go to propulsion? Where's the... Ah, computers. No, propulsion, yeah. So... Or I could split it up. Yeah, give me a 51% chance of getting that tech next turn. Yay. So, terraforming seems to be pretty important. Uh, no. <coughs> uh, death spore is probably as useless as they are in, um, in Master of Orion 2. Go with improved terraforming and hydrogen fuel cells. So, and then I'll go straight, whoa. Ooh, a Terran planet? Where do, where was that? Was that here? No. Where? Oh! Oh, it was in this, um, yellow star. Okay, can I get there? Four parsecs, wait. Okay, so next time I get a tech, I think I should be able to colonize that Terran planet. Also, I forgot. So, in this case, terraforming increases the maximum population, and to do that, you have to eco, you have to do eco, and you're getting your factories set up. Still not quite ready to terraform or anything. Okay, and so now looks like Mentar is fully terraformed, and, oh right, that means you can build more factories because the planetary max is higher, so the factory max is higher. Okay, and then Antares, or Antares. Ooh, a Mershon ship. So how do I not know, how do, how have I not met the Mershons? <laughs> this is weird. Also, how long is it gonna take for me to get the propulsion? I just want the hydrogen fuel cells. Oh, because it, it's gonna take me forever because I don't have any, uh, I don't have any research right now. And get this to the lowest thing where it still says max. Okay. And Antares, continue building your factories. You need to be able to dominate the galaxy cruelly. And do I want to go for iridium fuel cells? Inertial stabilizer? That's too qu Inertial stabilizer sounds good. I don't think you can actually design ships in this game, which means that you must, like, automatically, um... What am I saying? You must automatically just get everything or something, so... 
Okay, and you can go colonize that Terran planet. That's really nice. Um, I'm building another colony ship for that step planet. Because I think 55 is decent, at least. 55 max pop. Also, I want to send my scouts to that to attack that Mershon ship. So you can get down here. ETA nine twans. How long is a twan? And one more year. Oh, except I think that. Sh oh, whoops. I think that step planet was out of range. Yeah, six parsecs. So I need to get the iridium fuel cells. Which I think I can get after I get this uh, inertial stabilizer. Okay, and then Mentar, you can go back to research. Antares, how are you? If I get you f on max ecology, how well do you do? You have 28. You have. Okay, yeah. You're terraforming pretty fast. Build a new colony, yes. Definitely. And random black screen. Okay. Insidious. Inception is. And. You. Yeah. Oh, right. You, I'm gonna need to ship some population over. So I can actually like get that planet started. I'll ship over eh, 25 million sounds about right. ETA six turns. And now you, yep, you're increasing your population, Antares. Good. Although plus one population is not that good, and I can lower it and still get the same benefit. So then I can both build factories and increase my population by the same amount. So that would be a better idea. And Mentar, you actually, I think I'm gonna get you back on Eco. Get that population back up so you can ship some more population over. Uh, yeah, transport another 50 million colonists over he No, that's too much. 25 million is fine. Because 50 million would cut its population in half and it would have a hard time recovering because its um, population would drop, its production would drop, which means its um, ecology would drop so it would recover slower. And Antares... You just go back to clean. Uh, wow. Don't have much waste, apparently. And then put the rest back into industry. How many factories do you have? 20. And 38 population. Okay. Continue growing. And Insidious, did you get that? Nope. Oh, you're actually growing slowly. Ah, yes. And Scouts, you can attack the Mershons. Though it might be nice to have some better weapons. I don't know how the tactical combat works. If this will be, like, really easy or what. This will be a really easy battle or something. And then... Now... How many... Destroyer class ships could I get? Wait, is there something better than Destroyer? <coughs> is Bomber better than Destroyer, or is it just a special kind of ship? Hey, you can churn out... Quite a few... You can churn out two Destroyers in a year. And then I might as well 
Okay. Next turn. Okay, now I have two destroyers. Hopefully that's a good number and it's not, like, almost nothing. Yep. You, how many factories do you have? Only 33. You can get 110. You're not good enough. Ah, and you have your 60 population, so... Should I keep it on industry? Full industry? Or, no. I think I'm gonna terraform it fully and max out its population. Um, my scouts should be arriving, and the Mershons attack me. Woo! Haha! -ha, this time, I have the advantage. Can I actually shoot you? Uh, wait. Do I have no weapons on this ship? I don't think I have weapons. Oh. Okay. That's interesting. Okay, well, you guys aren't very useful in combat. And send one of you there, and the other one there. However, my destroyers probably do. So, can you get there? No. Because it looks like that's where the Mershans are going. And... what am I teching up to? Oh yeah, the Iridium... oh no, Inertial Stabilizer. And apparently I'll get it this turn, it looks like. I think... is that not what the light bulb means? Oh. Guess not. There's a 1% chance I'll get it this turn. Aw. Oh, didn't work out. Obviously this game is rigged. Lying. And you're getting plus three population of turn. Pretty good. Where are you still? Okay, you're still flying. Ooh, that look. That's a pretty good planet. Uh, don't I still have a colony ship here? Yes. So you can head down there. And then I'll get to ship some more population from Mentar. Ooh, I have the inertial stabilizer, so I think now I can get iridium. Or I could just get dotamite fuel cells, or dotamite crystals, and entirely skip iridium. Of course, it's way more expensive, but that's fine. And... You're getting there with the factories. You know what? You can go back down to minimum just to get it clean and then start working on factories because you, I want you to get a head start. So yeah, Mentar is maxed out. Where's my colony ship? Oh, moving. Can I see the Mershans anymore? No. Oh, I can list my planets. Cool. What's the map? Oh, nice. Highly convenient. Okay. Wondered if there was a way to see this map when it, the, when it wasn't turn, the end of the turn. Figured there probably was. So, Antares, are you almost done? Mm, get in there. Alright, 80 something out of 110. And I think I can colonize. It. Oh, wait, no. I should be able to colonize that ocean planet pretty soon. Ah, good. And you've reached your maximum. Your planetary maximum of 110? Are you, why aren't you growing? Grow! Grow! Grow for your life! Wait, are you just like not able to grow? Why are you not growing? This is strange. Okay, and then get the minimum to stay clean. 
And then tack up. Build a new colony and send over 50 million colonists from Mentar. Colony name? Artemis. Sounds good. Where's my other Terran? How is Insidious doing? My other Terran planet. Um, at a 104 population. Okay, so Mentar, transport. Mm, not many, just 55 million. No, not quite that many. Just 50 million. That should be good. And then Mentar, go full ecology. Because I need to get your population back up. Ah, GNN report. The Silicoid Empire has grown in strength. Already they control six star systems. That's fine, I have, what, five? No, four. And they're... Well, two of them are almost maxed out. One of them is pretty good. And one of them's soon going to be acceptable. Insidious. Yep, keep working. You already have 64 factories. Nice. I want to see the Mershans again. I want to actually do some tactical combat. And my colony transports are almost there. Well, halfway there. Mentar, are you full? Nope. And Antares. Keep researching. You have... Ah, good. He has maximum population, maximum factories. So, I wonder how many destroyers you could build me in one turn. Just one. I want you to go all the way down, and then eco. Wow, they generate quite a bit of waste. I should probably get that planetology tech next that like makes it so that you don't need as much. It doesn't take as much to clear away waste. Ah, they're building ten a year. Ten factories a year. You're doing well. Insidious. I just like to say insidious. Ah. Mentar, you can go back to researching. You're already doing that. And I'm I almost have dotamite crystals. So does that mean how many turns do Wow. Okay, Dotamite crystals are really expensive, apparently. Cost quite a bit. Good. And then nuclear engines. Warp 2. Nuclear engines, I think, is a double... It get, I think it doubles my map speed, so that sounds good. But I'll change my tech over from p propulsion to planetology. Ooh. The Mershans are not interested in the affairs of flesh lesser species. Stay clear of our territory. Let's see, does that mean I've discovered one of their planets? And if so, can I go bombard it? <laughs> I probably need a war fleet for that. But I can build one pretty easily, I'm sure. Oh, the Bolrothi Empire greets the Cylons warmly, and hopes that you will prosper under our rule. Yeah, that's probably actually going to happen because I have no idea how to play this game. So, does that mean I actually know where there's things are? Yes. The Kronos. So, I wonder if you're just, like, permanently at war with all these races? Doesn't look like it. Um, the Bolrothis? Can I get some sort of trade treaty going on or something? Greetings. Propose treaty. Oh, form trade agreement. You propose a trade agreement for... I hope this isn't just like me paying them. 
I don't know. Uh, I'll see that. Okay, so what does that actually do? Ah, exchange technology. Improved terraforming. Army. What will you trade for it? Dotomite crystals? Um, that's how, I think dotomite crystals are a fairly advanced technology for what they have, so I'm not going to do that. Hopefully my, that trade treaty, like, actually makes them, uh, actually, like, helps both of us, like in Master of Orion 2, and it's not just like I'm giving them my production. I hope. Actually, it may be that, because suddenly all of my planets are doing less for ecology. And, whoops, no. I have to actually increase planetology to the max. Okay. And then, you're both... wonder if I should just build a massive war fleet and go after them. Because I don't think two destroyers is going to cut it. Yeah, I'll wait. Insidious, how are you doing? You have 110 out of 110. How many factories? Good, you're almost there. Oh yeah, and I forgot to check on Artemis. Um... You can terraform fully, and then increase your population to the maximum. Population 97, up to 100, good. And then plus 3 population. Yeah, keep going. And... Okay, increase ter improved terraforming. 75%. See what that does. Um, enhanced eco restoration. Good. I want. I don't want to spend as much time on. Uh, or spend as much production on that. And make you all full terraform. Fully terraform. Mentar will probably be done in one turn. Yep. And then you can go uh, build all your factories, all of the new ones, and max out, clean up all your waste though, excellent. Wait, so there's no clean, it's just either waste or plus one population apparently. And then Antares. You fully terraformed, so you can go back to industry and what are you doing in Sedius? You also fully terraformed. Nice. Wow, you generate a lot of pollution. Whoops. Wrong way. And then Artemis, you're why are you... Okay, I want you to terraform. Maximum... Maximally. Good. And then you can just build all of your factories. Wow. You really don't generate much waste. How many factories do you have? Ten. No wonder. Oh, Ursa. That must be the Bulrathi homeworld. I'm guessing. And... yeah. Okay. Antares and Mentar are about to finish all of their factories, I think. Ooh, and Insedius? Really? So Insedius is fully developed then, right? Yeah. Maximally terraformed, maximally... Max build the maximum number of factories. You are not quite terraformed. Or, not, you don't have quite all of your factories, and 
you do. So you can start building me some ships. Some bomber class ships, because I'm guessing I'll need those to actually um, attack somebody. And Antares, same thing. Well, no. You're going to be producing me destroyers. And in Sedius, you just research. I want to uh, continue working on planetology. And get a couple more bombers, and then I'll probably switch Mentar over to uh, destroyers, because seven bombers sounds like it's probably going to be enough. But again, I have no idea how many that actually is. I have no sense of scale or strength. And actually, I should probably build some fighters here. And then I can continue building the destroyers at Antares. Okay. Good. I have more ships. Okay. I think... How many ships do I have? Six destroyers, 35 fighters, seven bombers. That sounds pretty good. I don't know. I'll switch Mentar over to destroyers. Because, whoops, because I think there might be, because I think fighters are really, really weak, probably. Okay, five destroyers. I'll build one more turn's worth of destroyers in both places and then switch you guys back to research. Okay. So, yeah, this is, this is probably more than enough. Because, like I said, last time I did 22 destroyers, and that said I had the strongest fleet in the galaxy. Oops. Uh, I don't want to generate waste. I really want to get that planetology thing now that makes me, like, 50% more effective. Like, 100% more effective, actually. At cleaning up waste. And are you... Yep. Okay, how much total research am I generating, I wonder? Don't know if there's a way to see that. Under tech, maybe? Total research, 717 BC per turn. And how much does this cost? I have no idea how to check how much the tech I'm researching costs. The planetology tech. GNN. The heavy metals on Mentar have been depleted to the point of making the planet mineral poor. That's unfortunate. So that means half production? Oh, that is horrible. I wonder if I can, like, ecologize back up to the top or something? I wish, but I don't think you can. Sadly. Okay, now I have the Enhanced Eco Restoration. Do I want to reduce? Yes. And then what do I want next? Improved terraforming, maybe? Yeah, sure. And Mentar? Does this, like, go back into making... <laughs> I want to make you rich again! Or is that just, like, a really unfortunate random event? Like, was that just a really unfortunate random event, or was it um, because I have so many factories, I wonder? Like, if you have too many factories for too long, is that bad? I don't know. I've never played this game before. Does that mean Antares is going to be depleted soon, too? Maybe. The Silicoids Empire now spans 12 star systems. Okay, I'm falling behind. Identify this class of ship. I have no idea. Or maybe that's just like... That means I can get a new kind of ship? No. I don't know. That's is strange. Also, am I producing? No. Okay. So then... I should produce a colony ship. 
A lot of colony ships, in fact. Let's see, where are there some decent planets? Okay, um, Fico. Uh, so, Crypto, that's two decent planets. Uh, basically I'm looking for anything that's not hostile or poor. Okay, hmm. That's unexplored. Is this unexplored? Yes. Okay. Alright, and then I need to actually start building my colony ships. Is this another GNN report? What's this? Oh, maybe Mershon's talking to me about my massive fleet or something? Ah. The silicoids. Wow. Ugh. I can see why they... Why they improved the graphics in Master of Orion 2. Silicoids look really weird. <laughs> yeah, so Antares and Mentar, you're gonna get me a colony ship each. Whoops. And what's the shortest time you can get it in? Three years. It's fine. How fast can you get me one? Whoops, no. Also three years. Okay, my massive war fleet is nearly to HV Delphi. Ah! What? The silicoids colonized crypto. Well, that's just mean. Aww. Also, what am I researching right now? Oh, I'm researching improved terraforming. Whoops. Didn't mean to research that. Space combat. Cylons attack Mershons. So, they have three thingies. Three whatevers. Two planets. And two of something else. Okay, so you guys... Move up there. Why did you not actually move? Oh, it's left click, not right click. Okay, so I think I accidentally just like lost a turn. And they destroyed one of my destroyers. Okay, I fired missiles or something. Now, now I can move up again. And then, am I in range? No. And can I, f like, fire at the missiles? Can I shoot the missiles down, like in Orion 2? Doesn't look like it. Also, apparently once I click to move somewhere, that automatically just ends my turn. Oh, these are my bombers. They probably can't fight. And then you can move over here. Apparently there's no rotation either. You move over quickly. Took out six of my fighters. With that. Wow. Okay, I really don't know how this combat works. You can just move back. Because you can't actually shoot. Okay. And then you move up. And they're destroying all of my fighters. Okay, so you're extremely short-ranged. Okay, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm getting destroyed, it looks like. I had no idea this was so bad. My troops were all so bad. <laughs> you know what? Just retreat. Oops. I'm not going to be able to do anything. Retreat. Everybody retreat. Maybe I'll be able to salvage a couple of my ships. <laughs> wow. That was horrible. Okay, did I lose every single ship I have? And I may have accidentally declared war on the Mershons, too. I don't know if we're just like automatically at war or something. Um, okay, you can switch to, 
destroyers. Build me more destroyers. Everywhere. Okay. Oh yeah, and then I need to colonize that green planet before someone else takes it. Artemis? Ah, Artemis is done. So you... are you? Do you have maximum factories? Good, good. In fact, that might have been what it was just telling me about, but I didn't pay attention. So then... You build me more destroyers. Hey, guess what? More destroyers! Because I think they're the most effective thing I had. Okay, so I can colonize Rion, although it's really bad, I think. And send my colony ship there. How is that blue star? Is it gonna be horrible? Yep. Oh! Although it is ultra rich. Resource points from industry are tripled. Okay, I want to settle that. Yes, it has. it's hostile, so growth is halved, but I can just send a bunch of other... Um, oh, it's dead. Okay, so I need to get the tech that is... that allows me to do that. To colonize dead planets. I think it's planetology, actually. Okay, and so all of my warships group up. Group hug. And hopefully this time it'll go better. I doubt it will, but <laughs> maybe it will. Okay, more destroyers. <laughs> If there's, like, some kind of hidden cost, or hidden maintenance cost of these things, I'm gonna, like, destroy my empire. <laughs> oh, also, I think I know why I did so poorly against them. I haven't researched any battles technology. That might explain it. Okay... So now, that's how many destroyers? Okay, this is a lot of destroyers. This is better be enough. <laughs> now you guys can switch, can all switch to fighters. See, maybe I'll be able to tell which one is more effective. Mentor, switch to fighter. You switch to fighter. You also switch to fighter. And guess what? You get to switch to fighter. FICO, you are doing fine. I'll just wait on you. I think I'll produce three turns of fighters, and then that's all. And then I'm gonna see if this goes better with, like, four times the number of troops. And... Okay. I really hope this works. Because if it doesn't, I have no idea what will. Maybe it'll just mean I have to stop. Whoops. I have to stop attacking the Mershans. And Antares also get back to research. And Mentar, you too. Full research, and research me weapons. Yeah, hopefully that'll... I might be able to get it in like one or two turns. Yep. Hand lasers. Adds five to your ground combat. Gatling laser. An advanced laser that fires. Sounds like it's a ship thing, because it doesn't say adds to ground combat. Gatling lasers. I don't think that's a thing. 
ion cannon, fusion bomb, um, HyperX rockets. Yeah. Sure, why not? And all of my fighters move to Antares into the attack formation. And then once I get those HyperX rockets, I will research the nuclear drive, I think it's called, which will hopefully double my speed. Also, I like how apparently we're just like permanently at war with all of with every other race in the galaxy because the Mer there was like there wasn't any warning that you have declared war on the Mershons or anything. Okay, and then Merculite missiles maybe? Mass driver? Why not? And then tech switch to propulsion where I'm on nuclear engines. Okay. Should be able to get that in one or two turns. I think it's a pretty easy tech. Yep. Ships move at warp two. And fusion drive. They're almost to Antares. My fleet has almost gathered. <laughs> Looks like some other race is trying to get a... Uh... Oh, the High Council has con convened. Emperor Tachaeon of the Cylons and Emperor Christus of the Silicoids have been nominated. Mershons abstain. Sakras abstain. Seven votes. The bolt. Yeah, everybody abstains. Um, I can vote for myself. Wait, am I Takayon? Takayon? Oh, that's nice. So apparently, I'm second in the galaxy. Good. And is this my whole attack fleet? 700 and... F no. <laughs> Not 700. Um. Also, who is this? Who is light blue? Because whoever they are... Mershons? Oh, wait. Huh. Weird. Okay. Hopefully I won't need, um like bombers or anything. I don't <laughs> uh, they're probably incredibly important and uh are the Mashans attacking me? Okay, I'm kind of scared. Okay, the Mershans are sending a massive war fleet at me. Am I gonna lose in my first episode? <laughs> because that would be kind of fun. You know, maybe I should have built defenses or something. So you can build, like, defenses, but I never bothered. So... Oops. Okay, please don't murder me, Mershans. Just give us a couple of years to build up our defenses, and then... And then you can declare war on us. And... Whoops. Not f everything on... Defenses. And you are slowly building up your population. Okay, let's see if this war on K... K this attack on k -list goes better than the last one. I have 46 destroyers this time. I think I can move faster because I have nuclear drives. Hey, they ran away. Nice. Bomb the enemy colony. Yes. Bomb. 11 million killed, one factory destroyed. Okay. Oh, now have I declared war on the Mershons officially? <laughs> Maybe because I didn't actually destroy any of their ships last time. Um, it didn't count. Oh. Okay. Yeah, somehow they didn't count that as an act of war. <laughs> so. Yeah. And with that, as much fun as I'm having, I'm gonna have to end the episode. It's already run way too long. 
So, thank you all for watching, and see you next episode. Bye!